Hey guys, thanks for watching. I'd like to welcome you to this new series where I'll be restoring the car behind me. It's a 1967 Alfa Romeo GT Junior 1300. Uh, I bought the car in, the, in its present state as an unfinished project. Uh, the previous owner had started the restoration where he removed all the paint, um, stripped the car apart, and bought a lot of new panels enough to finish the project. Uh, eventually, he had other priorities so he couldn't finish it off, and that's where I stepped in and I bought the car in this condition. Um, the car was originally imported from England, and the Italian cars of this era are notorious for having rust problems. So let's see what I got myself into. Arriva la bomba che scoppia in bomba. Ah, si tratta di me, dai reggiti forte che spacco le porte. Ah, arrivo da te. Bambina hai scelto la vita dura. Ti fa morire. Se crollano i monti e saltano i punti, ah, si tratta di me. Aspetta il balcone che ingroppa il ciclone, ah, arrivo da te. Bambina hai scelto la vita dura, scegliendo me. Ma i baci che ti do ti fa morire. I'm sure you've seen this type of restoration project on TV. The main difference with my project is that I don't have a TV budget or a crew of mechanics and fabricators doing the work, so I have to do everything myself with the help of a few friends and uh, specialists along the way. Uh, I don't have the advantage that I don't have a, a fixed time deadline, so I can take my time and go over the details and make this a proper restoration rather than just like a quick cover-up and paint job. So where to start on a project like this? Uh, back in my younger days, I would have just started cutting the rusty metal away and uh, tried to repair, make repair panels. Uh, now I'm a little older, I know a bit better, so the first job is to make a uh, rotisserie. Uh, we won't be roasting any chickens today, and, uh, it's just a type of frame or jig for the body to be able to revolve it upside down and make the repairs comfortably.
So finally, after 50 hours, the rotisserie jig is ready. Um, I used the plants that a friend made for an alpha spider restoration. However, I did modify these plants slightly to suit my needs. Uh, mainly, we made the side sections longer, so we can have access to the front part over here and at the back, having more clearance. And we also added wheels. As you can see, my garden is quite narrow and small, so like that we can move the, uh, the body sideways and forward and have better access to the body in general. So, how does it work? Um, let's see. So single-handedly I can turn the body upside down. This will give us very good access to repair the rusty floor plants, uh, making it easier to cut out the rotten sections and replace with the new ones. It makes welding much more comfortable and uh, generally a better job, as it's very difficult to grind upside down with upside down and so forth. These angle with holes help us adjust the, the height of the body. Um, it would be foolish to try and get the center of gravity right with one fixed position by welding it. Uh, it took quite a few trials to, uh, at different heights to find the right center of gravity. In fact, we went up to the fourth hole where the car was too top heavy. Uh, if doing this at home, be careful because it can be quite dangerous. If the car is top heavy, it can uh, spin out of control very easily and uh, injure someone. I hope you enjoyed this first episode of this series. Uh, join me next time as we start replacing the body panels on the car. We will start from the floor pans and then move on, on to the inner set. If you would like to leave some comments, please do so below in the comment section. Also, like, share, subscribe if you enjoy what you've seen. Uh, we're also on Instagram at Raising Junior.